is a woman. Okay? Remember when you met the woman that you're married to right now? Remember what it felt like to get to know her? Mm -hmm. There was a lot of emotional and even spiritual energy that was sent back to each other. You felt it. You couldn't wait. You go home and call them again. I mean, I don't know how you did it. Okay? Then along comes our past. Along comes her past. Creates a conflict. Right? Remember we said it created a conflict? Then guess what happened? I don't have a lot of time, but these are bricks, guys. Blocks. Mm -hmm. And then men and women begin to think, I'm not sure I love this person. I just don't feel like I used to feel. What's happening is that these feelings are hitting the wall and they're bouncing off because these are unresolved blocks. Okay? They bounce off. You don't not like the way it feels. How does it feel? You feel alone. You feel abandoned. All those things. You feel un not heard, misunderstood. He loves golf more than he loves me. He loves hunting more than he loves me. She likes those renovation programs on TV and won't even talk to me. <laughs> this, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So what do we do? Do we get on our knees and ask God what's going on and ask him? No, what we do is we satellite. Both of you do. Why? Because we want recognition. We want encouragement. It could be sports. It could be work. It could be, name it, woodworking, whatever. Women, it could be shopping. It could be the children. It could be church. And these people exist in this world trying to get emotional support when they should have got it through Christ and their spouse. Okay? What do children see when this happens? They see rejection, people being closed out, 